Welcome to this video on black box testing. Black box testing is also known as functional testing. It's where you check that your program meets the original specification. The technique is to list the requirements you were given. So let's look at the tactics for doing this. You can create a list of test data to check whether it comes out with what is expected by the user. You also create a list of test actions to ensure that all the buttons, drop-down boxes, etc. function as required. Let's try an example. Let's suppose that the user would like a quick utility to see how many letters there are in a name. The user would like to be able to enter a name and then be told the number of characters. There are two tests. Test Actions and Test Data. Let's start with the Test Actions. We need a list of Test Actions. Can the user enter a name? Is the user told how many characters the name contains? Does the program close appropriately? Then we can look at some Test Data. We need some test data, so let's try Andy and Tabitha. If the program survives the test actions, the test data, then it's passed the white box testing. It needs to pass both. So let's try the program. Here's our programming environment. Let's try it by entering the test data that we decided on. Let's try Andy and see what it comes up with. It says that's four characters long. Well that's okay, that's good. Let's try it again, but this time we'll run it with the name Tabitha and see what that does. And it says that's seven characters long. Our program seems to be working, but being the cynical sort I'm just going to check it out with one more, just in case. Let's try it with Molly. And, oh dear. Oh, what a shame. It now says 27 characters. There's something a little wrong. So there can be problems. Even when the program appears to work, Black box testing may not show them all. You'd have to try every combination of every possible name, and that's not feasible. Investigating this is the subject of white box testing, which is covered in the next video. Thank you for watching.